Yo, yo, my game musicians out there, and I am going to teach you guys how to patch Pokemon hacks up to Gen 3 with both IPS and UPS extensions. So, before we begin, you'll need the following items. You will need the emulator, which is Visual Boy Advance. For IPS hacks, you will need Lunar Magic. You can find Lunar Magic on romhacking.net or smwcentral.net because you also need to use that to patch Super Mario World hacks. And you also need for UPS, you need either Sukuyomi or Nups. Even though Nups will be the better candidate out of those two choices. So, let us begin by explaining to you guys what is the difference between IPS and UPS hacks. Now, theoretically, what is this? Keep the current color scheme, idiot. Okay, anyway, um, the difference between IPS and UPS is theoretically, IPS is a basic patch. So you're basically you're ba basically patching just just the essentials to it. it there, um, there, it, what the the main difference between both, um. IPS and UPS is um, that one is supposed to have lesser bugs than the other, but that may or may not be true in some cases. Again, I say theoretically. In, th in, in theory, UPS are supposed to be the more advanced type of patching. And that includes... that, that basically includes um, very well-known, well-done games like Flora Sky and Glazed and most of the emerald elk and some of the fire red um, so bef so now let's actually um, let's actually teach you guys how to patch IPS so what we have to do here is you need lunar magic of course so let's go to where I have lunar magic um, and let us apply IPS patch you don't need to do any of these even though make sure that register file type is checked. And let me go to where I put um, Pokemon Obsidian because I'm going to be doing that game later on after I'm done with Cops. So, yeah, whenever I get back to that game. So what we need to do here is we need to go to uh, where I put my ROM that. Uh, let's see. Let's go to, um, where did I put, oh yeah, here we are. Let's go to Pokemon Obsidian, um, Pewter White, Obsidian Black. I'm going to patch that game. And then you need to patch it with a clean ROM. Now, I'm not going to tell you guys where to find a clean ROM. You have to, you have to look for that yourself. But let me just tell you one thing, guys. Let me just give you one very good caveat here. Um, stay away from certain websites that um, may or may not bring you malware as a result of trying to download a ROM, because there are a lot of there are a lot of websites that do that, and I don't want you guys to be I don't want your guys' computers to be riddled with worms um, as a result. So I. I'm not again. I'm not going to tell you guys where to find a ROM, but just just keep that in mind. Just look before you leap. There are actually a few. There are actually a few good, clean, legit websites out there. So just do your research, and you'll be fine. But yeah, anyway, just you need to get a clean ROM, which um, basically what a clean ROM is, guys, is it's a ROM that is has never been touched. You have never touched the game. You have never hit start or play or anything like that. It's completely, it's it's just a tabula rasa. It's just a complete clean slate. So after you find your clean ROM here, ROM here which I have this all copied onto my folder here, all you just have to do is click on Pokemon Fire Red. Hooray, it's successfully patched. Now let's actually make sure that it was, actually no, um, Shoot, I forgot to I forgot to put my um hook up my 
GameCube controller to test out. But guys, if it if it doesn't work, then you might have a very bad computer. But yeah, anyway. Now let us go to the trickier part. UPS. So yeah, UPS files are a little bit trickier to patch up depending on which program you are using. Now, Sukiyomi, Sukiyomi again you can find on romhacking.net. Um, this one's a lot more precise and picky on which ROM you um, are trying to install. So, um, or actually I should say patch, what am I saying? So yeah, anyway, Sukiyomi here, um, this is I think the more the most used program on um, patching UPS files and let me just tell you guys it's not very it's not very good to use I recommend NUPS a lot more than this but yeah anyway if you are using Sukiyomi um, what you have to do is you have to patch a UPS file you have to select which hack you're trying to patch here so let's go back to where I was before here. I'm going to um, patch the latest version of Pokemon Resolute, which is 0.77. Let's see, where can I find that? Uh, let's see, oh yeah, here we are. Pokemon Emerald version Resolute, which I had renamed, and you have to just do that. And then you select the type of ROM you want to patch it to. Now chances are it's going to give a an error message called file check put sum um, was invalid. All that basically means guys is that it does not match up with the exact ROM. It doesn't it doesn't have to do with how clean it is. It's just it doesn't match up to the exact formula that exact coding which was within the ROM file that you downloaded. So um and chances are that's mostly going to be the case here because again this this program here is kind of kind of precise so you have to just you know do things yeah you have to kind of work around a little bit but um let's see where should oh yeah now you can also do this manually which is basically the same thing you just you do the you repeat the process over again. You select the you select Pokemon Resolute in this um, in this field, and then for all the other fields, you um, put down the ROM. Now, don't buy. I I highly recommend you do not bypass the checksum validation because chances are that may compromise the ROM. So I highly advise you guys don't don't go that route. So yeah, anyway. Let us go to the better program here, NUPS. Now, NUPS is a lot more efficient here because even if you aren't able to successfully patch the file, you know, normally, you know, even if you don't have the exact ROM file for the job, you can do a few different options here. So, anyway, let's go to apply and UPS patch to a file. Now, it gives you four options here. Um, first of all, let's actually select the kind of file to patch. So again, it would be Pokemon Resolute. And then the UPS patch would go to, oh wait, what am I, what? shoot. Yeah, the file to patch would be the ROM. Sorry guys, I kind of got messed, messed up there. But yeah, UPS patch is basically your hack. And it'll ask you to either abort, ask, notify, or ignore. Abort, it, it just gives you the error message and it just stops altogether. Ask, it'll say, um, it'll tell you that the input checksum is invalid. Do you still want to go ahead with the procedure? Notify, um, I never really got around to that, but I'm guessing that it still gives you the same thing. But ignore is basically, um, basically ignores all the all the barriers and patches it for you anyway. So let's see if um, let's see if we can try to patch this. Yep, the patch doesn't match the file, so patching was canceled. 
because again the input checksum was invalid well quote invalid so anyway what we can now do here is or what we can try to do here is hit ignore and then try to patch patching has been done so all you need to do there guys is test it out and see if it worked now I, 9 out of 10, I'm pretty sure it did work. I'm work out did work out successfully. But if it didn't, guys, if it didn't, um, all I have to say is I don't really know what, what else to tell you. Um, just, you know, get over it. Get a different ROM or, you know, tr or if, you, if you're still really determined, if you're still really persistent on trying to patch that said game, um, if it doesn't come out in your favor, you can always try to risk it. You know, you can always try to go in very bad territory and try to download a different ROM, or you can just go with a different, different hack altogether. It may have been overdone, or you know, I mean, there there are plenty of there are plenty of fish in the sea, guys. There are plenty of facts you can search out there that you may may have a certain interest in, and you might want to play it. So, yeah. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment in the comment section. But it should be very comprehensive here, guys. So you really shouldn't have that much trouble from my tutorial here. So there we go, guys. That's how to patch both IPS and UPS ROM hacks for Pokemon games that are up to Gen 3. DS games I won't do because the DS emulators, like, no money GBA and you know etc they're all um, kind of unstable to use anyway so I wouldn't really recommend playing a DS Pokemon hack like from Diamond or Pearl or Black or White but I'm just basically doing a good tutorial a good step-by-step -step tutorial on just how to patch the the usual shit from either if you're doing a red hack if you're doing Pokemon Brown or or if you're doing Prism for Gen 2, or, or for Gen 3, you're doing, if you're doing Flora Sky, um, it's just basically a tutorial for that, so again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video if you're stuck, so PM me or comment in the comment section if you guys still have trouble trying to patch a ROM hack, and also, um, if you guys like, you can just, um, you can probably try to write a response video or, you know, do something like that. You can, you know, if things just don't really work so well, just, you know, try not to feel so bad about it. Because after all, this is just, it's just you're trying to play a wrong game. You're just, it, it's not like playing a typical console game. So yeah, anyway, um, enough said, let us end it right here, guys. So... Again, if you have any questions, ask me. Ciao.